Good morning, good morning, the boxing world. Welcome to another segment of Strictly Boxing with Derek Poppy. Roll on. All right, man, today's video, man, I want to talk about Tank Davis and Shakur Stevens. I mean, right now, it seems like anybody that I talk to, they're saying that Tank is the best and that the only possible person that could beat him is Shakur Stevens. They're talking about style makes fights. So this video, I want to talk about Shakur Stevenson versus Tank Davis. But before we start the video, I want to get a moment of silence, man. I got a message. Uh, the uh, legendary boxer Roy Jones Jr. had just lost his son, DeAndre Jones. So get a moment of silence. Okay, rest easy, my little bro. Um, my, my, my condolences goes out to the family of uh, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, that God is uh, strengthens you in this hard time. Peace. All right, now listen, man. What I want to talk about, man. You know, Chico has been calling out Tank for a while, man. Every time you turn the videos on, I want Tank. I want Tank. You hear Tank consistently saying, "I'm." I'm going to get with you. I'm going to get with you. He coming up with this excuse, that excuse. He coming up with saying that uh, Shakur is going to make a boring fight because he runs or comes up with another situation saying, you know, because of the uh, lack, lack, lackluster performance of Shakur's last fight that uh, he says Shakur got to prove himself. And I mean, I don't know. Shakur has a multiple uh, uh, title fights. He's, he, he's, he's, um, world champion in three different weight classes. He's undefeated. He's, uh, right now, he's a good draw. People are going to draw for, to, to see him. So I really don't know what is the hold up from Tank Davis. Since, he's the A side. He's the A dude. I really don't know what's the issue with him sending Shakur a contract. Now, Tank looked extraordinary good um, against Martin. It really looks like uh, um, <laughs> Shakur shouldn't even want to fight him after looking at that. But Shakur's still calling him out. Shakur's still calling him out. And, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, what's the other thing? They already say that Tank went into negotiations with Lomacheco. Now, Lomacheco's a good fighter. Lomacheco looked great his last fight against Cambosu. He just, to me, is the best part of Lomo is probably gone with his age, and, you know, he's been around a long time. And even though he looked good against Cambosas, I don't think he's the best normal that we ever seen. So um, what's wrong with fighting uh, somebody on your level, like in their prime, you know? You're the best, Tank, and, uh, and everybody's saying you're the best, and everybody look forward to you. I think the great big fight would be Shakur Stevenson and Javante Davis. The fight need to happen. Now, I just found out that Leonard Ellaby advised, now if I'm wrong, but this is what I heard anyway, Leonard Ellaby advised Tank not to fight Shakur. And maybe that's the reason why. Maybe that's the reason why Shakur not getting the, 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 getting it like that. So, I mean, like I said, Tank is the eighth side. It's on him to send the, uh, send the contract. That's all he got to do. But, I mean... I think Shakur is a worthy opponent. I think Shakur is a, a, a champion. What's wrong with, you know, the great thing I like about Shakur Stevenson and Javante Davis is that they're both 135 pounds. They're both champions. They're both undefeated. But what, I, what, what I'm saying is when I say they're both 135 pounds, they're not walking around 160 and getting down to 135. That's what they fight at. That's their fight weight. That's their in shape weight. That's what they is. They're not coming up with all kinds of... We wouldn't have all this nonsense about uh, sub, 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 supplements that, that, that help you with losing weight. They're both fighting at the weight that they are. And that's the wonderful thing about this fight. I would love to see Javante uh, Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. That would be the fight that we need to see. Now, Shakur got a fight coming up. 
Shakur got a fight coming up uh, uh, next week, um, the 6th of July, at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. He's going up against a guy, uh, Autumn Hoover 2 Yon Yon. And uh, he's 12 and 1. He's 7, got 7 knockouts. Um, he's fighting for uh, Shakur Stevenson WBC lightweight title. Art Artem is not a, a easy opponent. He looked good against Frank Martin. That's his only loss against Frank Martin. He looked good against Frank Martin. It was a close decision. Uh, I think Mar Art Artem caught him in the 12th round with a nice body shot, took him down to one knee, and that probably uh, is the decision over for him. Um, Artem is uh, he's a, a bronze medal Olympian in the German, uh, represented Germany in 2016 Olympics. And... Um, he, he's only lost against Frank Martin as a professional. All right, so what's the issue? What's the issue why uh, um, Javante should be more like, okay, well, let me see how you look your next fight against Artem. And then if you look good against Artem, then me and you can go. It's kind of weird to me that Tank is already going into negotiations without at least waiting to see what Shakur looked like. He already not interested in fighting Shakur. Now, no, if this was going down and anybody else, any other fighter was doing this type of thing, of course the fans would say um, they ducking him. I mean, Tank's so good, we 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 fall back. Like, we ain't going to say uh, Shakur ducking him. But why not? Why you don't want to fight him? What's the issue? No, no, no. Is Tank ducking Shakur? Shakur consistently, what's the definition of ducking him? One fighter continues to call you out, and you don't want to fight him. <laughs> y'all the same weight. Y'all both champions. I think it fits the criteria of being called a duck. I don't know. You guys let me know, though. Let me know what you think about it. I think that it's close to being a duck. <laughs> it's close to being a duck, man. Shakur want to fight, and you don't. That's, that's a duck. Even though Tank... Put it out there. I mean, you're going to get yours. What are you waiting for? You better hurry up. You better hurry up. You know what I mean? All right, man. Listen, man. Let me know what you think about that, man. Is Shakur Stevenson uh, the only fighter, as some people were saying, that has the style to beat Tank? Or well, as anyone can beat him, is Shakur the only one possibly that can beat him? Let me know if you think Shakur is can beat him let me know if uh you think tank is unstoppable you think there's no one that can beat him he looked really good against martin looks like he's thinking he's not just he's not just a big puncher that's clearly but what i'm gonna tell you though what i think that gives shakur an edge or what makes shakur stand alone from the other fighters that tank has fought even though they had the game plan to go in there and move and box and stay away from the power, with the pressure that Tanks puts on, they begin, they, the, 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 the opponent starts to get exhausted. And they can't do that for 12 rounds. So eventually, Tank is able to trap him and, and stop him. That wouldn't be the case for Shakur, because Shakur is used to dancing and moving for 12 rounds. He's a He's always in tip-top shape. And I think the, the surprise that the people don't know is that speed, man, is power. And Shakur got more power than you think. And, and the big asset that Tank has besides his punching power is he can take a punch. And that is the difference. Tank can take a punch and give a punch. So... Man, this would be a good fight, man. I think it would be the top fight, man, of the year. I think it needs to happen. Um, let me know what y'all think about it. I think that the, the, there shouldn't be no um, um, Tank and Lomo. I think we should sit there, Tank, see what uh, Shakur looks like. He gets, he gets past Artem, and now we should be blessed to see a big fight by the end of this year of Shakur Stevenson. Versus Javante Tank Davis. That, that that would be one to see. All right, man. Let me know how you like the, the video, man. Let me know your comments on the topic, man. Let me know if you think, you know, um, Tank is uh, 
stuck in them. Well, let me know if you, uh, you know, whatever you think about it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, I appreciate your support. And um, give me a thumbs up, man. <laughs> this is Strictly Boxing with Derek Potter. Real long. Peace.